Uh, my name is Jonathan Garnham. I was at Harper Adams from 1997 to 2001 and I studied Agricultural Engineering with Marketing and Management. When I was at Harper Adams I was a sponsored undergraduate at JCB and as soon as I graduated I joined JCB uh, in the aftermarket team looking at developing our dealers business in the UK. In the time since I graduated I've worked in a number of roles in service, sales, marketing and now I head our business running JCB Power Products. Agriculture has always been in my blood. Uh, my parents are farmers and I've always taken a keen interest in machinery. When I was growing up I was always keen to get involved on the farm and uh, work with tractors and machines and so it's been a passion of mine that I wanted to pursue as my career. I have a passion for working for JCB and a passion for the machines and what we do. I love developing our business, developing our dealers business and most importantly developing people. It's a great reward when you achieve something and you see people come with you. I'm a soil and water lecturer in, and I um, work in uh, agricultural engineering. And I think the most exciting thing is really uh, the ability, first of all, to work in academia, to work with young people, to inspire them, and then also to work in, a, in the area re so closely related to food production. And um, food production is really, um, is really crucial and soil and water management is fundamental for food production. So um, it's really, um, you know, my aim is to be able to, um, to contribute to the society and contribute to the environment and work with young people as well. I chose a career mainly because I've got an agricultural background. My father is on a farm. I wasn't so sure whether I wanted to actually do the tractor driving side of it, but the, in, the engineering side of it really interests me, with tinkering around with my old man on the weekends and stuff, and you know, we, you know, we've got a dealership, the John Deere dealership just down the road, I approached them and, we, and then here we are now, you know, it was, it was, it was sort of really good um, getting involved in, in engineering, definitely. Um, any advice I'd have for sort of someone looking to get into the industry is go along to your local manufacturer or dealer and ask to have a week's work experience and just see whether it's something you'd like to do. I mean, there's a lot more to it than just going out and visiting farmers and customers and tractors. You know, there's, there's more things going on at the dealership and it's just one of those things, there's a lot of hours with everything to do with agriculture. And sometimes you need to just have a go and see what you think. And if you like it, then there's a the whole career in front of you. Once I finished my PhD degree, I decided to continue doing a, a little bit more research. So I did a postdoc in sustainable technologies uh, as part of the postdoc, which was uh, mainly research, I had the opportunity to do um, a bit of teaching. Uh, so uh, I realised that I really enjoy teaching. I do enjoy research as well, but uh, teaching was a very big part of my job and I really, really enjoyed it. So um, that is why I moved into a lecturing position. So I'm now um, a lecturer in sustainable technologies uh, and I do other things as placement manager, uh, which is uh, actually a very good opportunity for me as well because it keeps me in contact with different companies and different employers, which is very beneficial as well for the students and as well for research. For any girls that want to follow a career in um, agricultural engineering, um, my only advice is just to go for it. Uh, some of the times it might be scary, some of the times it might be difficult. However, in any occasions I have felt that I have been left alone uh, in any projects or in any work that I have been doing and uh, there has been nothing that has stopped me to follow my dream into the career that I wanted to follow. So basically the main advice is just go for it and make sure that you follow your dreams if that is what you really want to do. My name is Robert Fillingham. I grew up on a small family farm in Yorkshire and from that I always developed a passion for agriculture and engineering in, in off-road machinery and, and farm machinery from a very young age. I spent my summer holidays whilst I was at school sort of working on, on farms nearby and on the weekends as well so this really developed my interest in, in the area. And then I applied for the um, degree in off-road vehicle design at Harper Adams and, and I was lucky enough to be accepted onto the course and so this sort of from there my passion in the subject really developed. Um, I then, um, in my first year, be became um, a winner of the class scholarship and this gave me the opportunity to work with class during my summer holidays at Harper and also um, on my placement year. During the placement I worked um, in Germany in the test and development department for class working with the Lexington Combine Harvester and I really enjoyed this and it really developed my motivation towards the subject of, of agricultural engineering.